We tend to think of the Apollo program and the Space Shuttle program as two vastly different projects, separated by both time and mission focus. A key Space Shuttle experiment, though, took place during the final Apollo mission and helped to create the infrastructure for all the Space Shuttle missions that followed. Communication with spacecraft in low Earth orbit is difficult and expensive from the ground. Tracking stations and line-of-sight antennas must be set up and maintained around the world in order to remain in touch with orbiting ships. If the antennas are moved to someplace high up, like in geosynchronous orbit, the communications hardware becomes much simpler. Voice and data traffic can be relayed from orbiting spacecraft to ground stations via a small network of high-altitude satellites. To test this proposed method, NASA moved an experimental geosynchronous applications technology satellite called ATS-6 into position over the United States. ATS-6 had a 9-meter parabolic antenna capable of receiving and repeating transmissions beamed at it from both ground stations and spacecraft orbiting below it. The satellite acted as a bent pipe in the sky, relaying transmissions it received and tracking satellite paths to resend the data to moving spacecraft. The Apollo Soyuz spacecraft was equipped with an S-band antenna that was previously used only on deep space lunar missions. The Apollo antenna transmitted video signals back to Houston via the ATS-6 satellite, which was available for almost one-third of every Earth orbit. Based on the success of the ATS-6 experiment, the Space Shuttle Era's tracking and data relay satellites were approved for launch. The relay system has been in operation for more than three decades and continues to be the primary communication system for orbiting spacecraft and for the International Space Station. Visit BAE.com for more surprising space facts.